Formula One Drive to Survive is one of the most trending Netflix hits right now, and I'm sure you've already heard about the action-packed series. With season four of the show finally out, fans can't stop talking about the adrenaline-rushed high-speed drama. And if you're a fan of the show, sit back and relax because this video is just for you. In today's video, we're going to talk about some of the things you didn't know about Netflix's very popular documentary series, Formula One Drive to Survive. Number 5. Lewis Hamilton Barely Features Some of you might have noticed this, but the Formula One legend Lewis Hamilton barely features on Drive to Survive. It's a shame that one of the biggest names of the sport got close to no screen time on the show. Being one of the most influential drivers in F1, the man spent 2020 becoming the seven-time world champion, standing up against prejudice and genuinely trying to change the world. But we didn't see him enough, and the real F1 fans are disappointed in Netflix for this. The F1 star does not even get a mention until the last four minutes of the last episode, which is a well-done montage of clips with Hamilton and from his childhood, but it's very short. There could be multiple reasons why Hamilton was not given screen time on the show. Maybe the star didn't want to be in the spotlight. Maybe Mercedes didn't want cameras in his side of the garage, or maybe producers knew that Hamilton won't be on the scene forever. Whatever the reason, it really disappointed fans not being able to see their favorite driver on one of the sport's biggest billboards, and they still demand more from Netflix. If you haven't watched the series and don't know what we're talking about, Formula One Drive to Survive is a very trending Netflix documentary based on Formula One racing and the lives of its drivers. The drivers, managers, and team owners in Formula One live life in the fast lane, both on and off the track. The series gives its audience an exclusive, intimate access to the people in one of the world's greatest racing competitions. Formula One Drive to Survive reveals the true story of the high-octane sport, which goes beyond the fight to be number one. There's also a battle for the heart, soul, and direction of the multi-billion dollar business. The story also features changes that a team undergoes after an ownership change and the pressure felt to outperform other drivers. Number 4. Grosjean's Crash and a Massive Impact The last episode of Season 3 centers around Roman Grosjean's ugly crash and the effect it had on the rest of the paddock. His Haas team principal, Gunther Steiner, reflects, saying, Once you see fire, that is the worst thing you can have. This is bad. Lewis Hamilton also adds, This one was hard to watch. I felt very vulnerable at the moment. While Sergio Perez says, Only when you see those things do you believe the danger we go into. There's a lot of tension until the pictures of Grosjean's jumping from the flames hit the screens. How did he jump out of that? That's an act of God, said Carlos Honoro Sainz. Number 3. A Beat Bull Took Ricciardo's Departure Badly Daniel Ricciardo caused a big scene in the driver market for the second time in three years when he called quits on his stint with Renault in favor of a move to McLaren, having previously left Red Bull for the Endstone. The pain a bit bowl suffered was clear from the opening scenes. We need to be in a position to be fighting for wins and championships, and Daniel has put a stop to that, says the team principal, Cyril Abitbol. Number 2. Russell didn't have a great time in Bahrain A young driver, George Russell, at the age of 23, was handed the opportunity of a lifetime when Hamilton was unable to race in Bahrain and he was promoted from customer Team Williams on a temporary basis. The young gun drove brilliantly too, but was let down by a poor Mercedes pit stop. The incident barely features in the ninth episode of the series a footnote in the story of Sergio Perez's first victory. The opportunity was big for the young star, but you can't do much when the universe is not on your side. Number 1. Bottas as Number 2 The big Mercedes focus during the series is to demonstrate that Valtteri Bottas is not just a number 2. I'm not just a number 2, says Bottas the pivotal star driver to the Mercedes Focus Episode 3. Lewis is a big worldwide star compared to me, he says. Pretty much everyone knows the name Lewis Hamilton, but not so much many people know the name of Valtteri Baltas. But my strength against him is that I want the title more than him. In the episode, Netflix followed him to his native country to give an insight into how he unwinds and gets away from the pressure cooker of a title fight with teammate Lewis Hamilton. Click on one of the four videos on your screen right now and we'll catch you guys in the next one.